Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and you're watching the Vogue.net. I'm here at Felicia Motorsports in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. I'm here with Bill. Yes. Okay, Bill, this is his Harley. Bill, tell me about it. Uh, this is an O2 soft tail standard. It's uh, fuel injected, uh, custom painted. To well, how do you like it? Oh, well, I love it. I've got about 85,000 miles on it. Wow. I rode it all the way down here from Pennsylvania in one shot. Uh, no complaints, but I'm tired. I'm want to upgrade, you know, and get one. Looking at something with a stereo and stuff like that now. Okay, let's set up the stage. Bill is here for Victory's ride and compare demonstration. He's going to go out and he's going to take a test ride on both a Harley Street Glide and a Victory Cross Country. Now, have you ever ridden either bike? Uh, no, I've never ridden either. Do you have any preconceived notions of what you're expecting from either bike? No. Not really. Okay. I'm going to be surprised. I know that. Well, here's what we're going to do. Bill's now going to go get on the bikes. He's going to take them both for a ride. And then when he comes back, we're going to check in with him to get your honest, unadulterated opinion. So what do you think? How's that sound? That uh, sounds like a plan. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay, Bill, you're back. You did about 45 minutes. You took the Harley out first. You came back on the Victory. Now, what sort of riding did you do on this? Uh, we did a little bit of uh, in-traffic riding, and we ended up going out on, uh, well, it's US-1, and then we got to about 65, 70 in a couple spots and stuff like that. Okay, you're, I guess let's, let's start. You started on the Harley, correct? Yeah, that's correct. What was your impression on that bike? Uh, actually, <laughs> to be honest with you, I was disappointed. Really? Uh, I'm a true Harley person. I own a Harley, and I guess it's the engine, the way they have that engine mounted. I'm not used to that. Uh, the vibration, I mean, I know Harley's supposed to vibrate and stuff like that, but I wasn't really keen on it. felt like it was breaking down. I don't know. It just it seemed different when you were slowing down. It felt like I was going over rumble strips. How was the rest of the bike in terms of the feel, the way you fit on the bike, uh, the ergonomics, uh, the other aspects? Uh, I kind of like the Harleys. Uh, I like the way their uh, fairings a little bit closer. My hands stayed a little bit warmer, I felt. Uh, as far as fit, eh, I'd make some adjustments, but I don't know what I could do with it. But Okay, now we we'll go over to the cross country. And now, as you said, you've never ridden that model Harley before. This is your first time in your victory. What's your initial thought? Well, it's a lot smoother riding, that's for sure. Uh, to be honest, I, I mean, I like it. I don't like the fairing being up that far. Like I said, with the Harley, the fairing was a little bit closer. My hand stayed a little bit warmer. Uh, I like a little bit more noise and the pipes are on it, but. <laughs> now both of these are stock pipes and, and granted the Harley is louder stock than the Victory. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's correct. Uh, I mean, besides the looks, I mean, I'm still buy a Harley, but I mean, if, if the bags weren't so big on this, I'd probably buy this. What did you think about the, the size of the bags? Well, they're pretty big. I don't know, it's just different looking. I guess I'd have to, something I'd have to get used to. Really. It's a little bit too big bottomed for you? Well, it, actually, this one actually handled better than that one did. And that really threw me off, too, because when I f first left here, I had to do a turnaround, and I thought I was going to dump it. Well, okay, so for slow speed maneuvering, you said you'll give the edge to the cross country. Yeah, that's correct. Now, do you think, what do you think that the connotation is that this is a victory and this is a Harley? You live in Daytona Beach. Let's face it, this is the Harley capital of the world. How would you feel if you bought a Victory riding around this area? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've owned every kind of motorcycles. Motorcycles a motorcycle. Every, you know, a rider is a rider. It doesn't matter what you're on. If I was going to buy a Victory, I would say I would, you know, I like the sportier bikes, but I don't know. I. Okay, so to sum it up, you took the two. Where do you give the points in this comparison, in your opinion? Well, I, I'd have to go with the victory, to be honest with you. You know, as 
on a, on a rating from one to ten, I'd probably give that maybe a five or a six, where I'd probably give this an eight or a nine. I want to thank you for your time, and I'm sure the folks at Volusia Motorsports thank you for coming by on this. Well, thank you for letting me take that for a dress drive, because I was actually going to buy one. I'm glad I rode it first. <laughs> well, well, you know, they'll let you test ride the other victories, and I, I'm sure the Harley Deer will let you try test ride some of their bikes as well. Yeah. Hey, for the Vogue.net, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and I'll see you on the road and online.